गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स दिस इज डॉक्टर किरण देशवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल टीच यू द रिमेनिंग स्टोरी माय बिलविड चैरियटियो रिटन बाय फेमस इंडियन नॉवलिस्ट शशि देश पांडे वी लेफ्ट आर स्टोरी at a crucial situation where the grandmother the narrator of this story is telling about her relationship with aarti she is very blunt in describing what she thinks about her daughter her situation is very pathetic she is a helpless mother who have to allow her daughter to smoke just because it gives happiness to her disturbed daughter aarti is in pain because of her husband's death so the mother is unwilling because smoking is dangerous for health but somehow she allows it because it gives pleasure to lonely aarti let us see what happens next these bitter thoughts do not often occupy me we know that this story is running in flashback technique in flashback technique the narrator thinks about the past so here the grandmother is recalling the past events happened in her life and she says that i don't like the fact that my daughter smokes but i allow her just because of her happiness so this is a bitter thought because she is thinking in a negative way for her dear one so these bitter thoughts do not often occupy me the narrator is saying that though it is a bitter thought but i don't have time to think about all these things because i have my work 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 keeps you busy keep doing something and you will forget the worries of your life the quiet routine of my day is like balm to my soul it happens generally indian housewives they are though they have so many problems but they overcome from them or they heal somehow all these problems just by doing household works their work is a good exercise for their mental health daily chores daily works daily household works are not monotonous but soothing because they take away their worry for some time now that the child is with me the day is full of meaning here this is about preeti preeti is with the grandmother and she it is helpful for her to pass the day the day becomes meaningful because the child preeti is with her i wait eager as a child myself the grandmother waits for preeti as a child as preeti waits for her for her to return from school when she has a holiday i don't know who is happier c or i very beautiful description it is a thing of happiness for both grandmother and granddaughter they know that today it's a holiday and they will spare time together and if it is an unexpected holiday we are equally full of glee both of them are happy but when see my daughter and her mother sees 
referred here for arti grandmother's daughter and preeti's mother when she comes to us when arti comes to us we feel guilty because arti doesn't enjoy life and both of these characters enjoy life so they feel guilty when she comes in front of them and hide our happiness they have to hide their happiness again grandmother is narrating an incident where arti asked to preeti do you remember your papa arti had asked her one day with a sudden harshness so she is harsh towards her child she doesn't speak in in a harmonious voice or we can say in a happy voice papa there had been a moments hesitation the child hesitates because it is hard for the children to recall or remember things and priti was very small when her father passed away then she had replied yes i remember because the child knows that the mother wants the answer in positive so she does so yes i remember no you don't don't lie to me this is the reaction of the mother that you don't know your papa and you are lying to me the child had stared at her with a frightened face it usually happen whenever we rebuke a child he or she frightens feeling she had done something wrong it's a child psychology when we rebuke them they think that they have done something wrong though she didn't know what it was because she is not old enough to understand things when arti had left us she had burst into sobs after asking this arti leaves and the child burst into sobs she starts weeping because whenever we rebuke a child the child frightens and starts weeping clinging to me the child clings to the grandmother and i had been full of pity because we know that the mother is helpless pre arti is in depression just because of the death of her husband but she is neglecting the child she is not giving the love which she deserves more for arti who could turn happiness into a wrong so this is the situation and uh, we can understand the mental trauma by these lines but i can say nothing to her because i am her mother how can i rebuke her how can i say something to her she has never shared anything with me it is said that we should share our sorrow and happiness with our dear or near ones because when you say happiness it increases and when you say your sorrows and worries and pain it decreases so we should share but arti doesn't share and this pains the grandmother and when arti doesn't share the grandmother also can't share because sharing and caring is mutual but i can say nothing to her she has never shared anything with me and now she hides her sorrow like a dog it's born very beautiful comparison a dog always hides its bone that other might eat it similarly arti hides her sorrow she guards it jealously and will not let me approach she let not approach the grandmother to her sorrow but the grandmother wants to share her pain and her sorrow and i have kept my distance too but grandmother is a concerned mother she is very caring and she understands everything that's why she maintains her distance it was only in imagination that i cuddled her as a child she craves to cuddle arti because she is in pain and no mother can no mother can see his or her child in her in pain so she cuddles her in imagination that i shared her happiness and confidences when she was a girl when arti was a girl 
the mother used to share her happiness and confidences but now aarti has made herself reticent in everything and now i assume her grief in the same way now the grandmother wants to share her pain her grief she imagines look i tell myself i will say to her she thinks that she plans that i will make her understand by saying this pouring some water into my cupped palms look i will say as the water seeps through leaving nothing you cannot hold on this is the philosophy of life you can't hold on anything for the whole lifetime you can't have happiness for the whole life you can't have sorrow for the whole time like happiness and sorrow the incidents of life these emotions emotions in life are like water in our hands like we can't hold water in our hands for a long time similarly we can't hold on feelings for a long time in our life you cannot hold on you will have to let go this is the philosophy of life if you wants to live your life you have to things let go but i know i'm fooling myself because arti will not understand these things and i have no courage to speak i cannot speak in front of her i can just tell her these all these things in imagination only i'm only a foolish middle aged woman who has never known how to win anyone's love see she is very frank she accepts that i don't know the trick to win the heart of others priti's affection that is a gift from heaven the ray of sunshine god sends even to the darkest corners here we have the significance of our title my beloved charioteer in mahabharata shri krishna worked as the charioteer of arjuna because arjuna was unable to fight with his relatives he confused he got confused he said to shri krishna how can i fight with my relatives he is my grandfather he is my uncle they are my brothers how can i fight with them and above of all these dronacharya is my teacher how can someone go against his or her teacher so the same situation is happening with the grandmother she wants to tell arti that leave all these why are you ruining your life and the life of this child preeti but she is unable to speak she don't have the she doesn't have the courage but she takes preeti to be her charioteer preeti gives her strength to fight to move on to go ahead to work on her plan so preeti's affection that is a gift from heaven the ray of sunshine which god sends even to the darkest corners very beautiful comparison preeti's affection towards the grandmother is a gift from heaven preeti's affection is gifted to the grandmother by god to her it's a ray of sunshine which god sends even to the darkest corners because god helps those who helps themselves thanks for watching this we will be continue in our next video